Right. So let's talk about the, the immigration, the immigration bill. So, the, you know, it, on on the side, uh, while we're all kind of obsessing about controversies and scandals, something big happened this week. They actually right. passed the uh, biggest immigration overhaul in 20 years out of the Senate Judiciary Committee, which is a good start. Right. And that was n not in doubt because the, it is a Democrat-controlled committee. But there were some moments of suspense um, before they passed it Tuesday night, sort of the two biggest wrinkles being could they reach a deal on a very sticky provision about visas for high-skilled workers? Mm -hmm. And they were able to strike a deal that largely gave the tech industry what they wanted. And then the second big moment of suspense was whether the chairman of the committee, Patrick Leahy, would ask for a vote on an amendment um, that would give same-sex couples, mm -hmm. when one partner is a U.S. citizen and one partner is foreign, the ability to, to sponsor that foreign partner for a green card. And it was a very emotional moment in the committee um, Leahy talked about how he's been married to his wife for more than 50 years and he couldn't imagine what it would be like if he had to choose between her and living in the United States. Um, but he did face pressure from both Republicans and Democrats who were very uncomfortable mm -hmm. pressuring him not to add that to the bill because there had been um, bold statements from many Republicans that that would sink the bill. And so he very reluctantly, he said with a heavy heart, didn't ask mm -hmm. for a vote. Um, and that was just a moment of mm -hmm. real Didn't ask for disease. A vote, meaning it's not going to. It's be not attached to the bill that was passed out of committee, and it faces a much higher hurdle on the Senate floor, where it would need mm -hmm. 60 votes, and they're they're it not. It probably would have been a killer, right? Yeah. It probably would have been a killer. Yes, several of the people who drafted the bill, the Republicans, said that they flat out would not support the bill if that were on it. So, so what conclusions can we draw from that? I remember when this first popped up a couple of weeks ago, there was a, a, a question here about whether Democrats would include it simply because they have to for their own party purposes. The fact that like, he didn't and the fact that the bill passed to committee without that in there, does that allow us to believe that there really is a genuine movement here to try and get immigration, an immigration overhaul done? Definitely. I mean, that was the reason that all the Democrats cited. They said, this is actually a bill we could get done. This is the best opportunity we've had to do immigration in years. We are going to do everything we can. And here we are sacrificing something that's really important to us to get this through. So an outbreak of pragmatism, yes, basically. Definitely. And so in, you know, a lot of the conversation we see from the outside on the Hill is people yelling at each other. Mm -hmm. um, and privately, they're almost as vicious about the other party as they are in public. But this seems to be correct me if I'm wrong, different, that there seems to be a genuine attempt of people who have different views from different parties to kind of make something work? Yes, it was a real bipartisan moment. They marked up the bill, they considered it over five days, they considered hundreds of amendments and accepted more than a hundred from both parties. Um, and you could really see that the gang of eight, that four members of the gang who were on the Judiciary Committee, really resisted all of the major, major changes that would have been brought up. Because um, it would screw up the compromise? Yes, because they had fought long and hard to reach this deal and they weren't going to accept amendments from either party that would upset that balance.